the history of the building is that it was the old Sexton and Son shoe factory. And we've had loads of people come in, sort of slightly older people come in and tell us they used to work here. They remember making shoes either upstairs or working in the offices downstairs. So yeah, it's been good fun. the developer, the people who own the site, have um, had the venue for, gosh, probably three years now. They approached me about setting up the Shoe Factory Social Club, which is a venue for meantime use before development starts on the site. It's been brilliant. It's been incredibly, incredibly busy, but we were thrilled to have Wild Paths approach us as kind of our last big event of 2019. <laughs> I think it was just such an opportunity. A, because of its uh, sort of industrial and um, uh, non-permanent nature, you know, there would be, it has got a shelf life that it will be torn down eventually and then made into residential units. Um, I thought it's really important that we celebrate the space now. Uh, also, it has a huge amount of free wall space for the graffiti, uh, and inside it's beautiful. You know, it's, it's really special. An old shoe factory, you don't get a chance to, to put an event in an old shoe factory every day. Yeah. We like it because it's fairly industrial and a little bit tucked out of the way, so it's not necessarily in the public gaze. I mean, that's been one of the things of being a graffiti writer has been quite important for me. I paint for my peers, not necessarily the public, so sometimes being a bit tucked away and being a bit quieter and getting a chance to actually paint without having people constantly hassling you uh, is quite good, but at the same time, painting at a festival, that's going to happen anyway. Um, and I quite like that interaction when you're at an event rather than it just being in the public domain, you know, with people passing by here, they're here to engage with you as much as they are with the music. I think it's the industrial look that everybody wants. Everybody likes the big open spaces, um, the fact that it's very empty and it's very much a do-it-yourself venue. So people can come in and, and put up what they need. They can paint a wall if they need to. They can make a mess and that's fine. Um, and I think that these kind of spaces are really lacking in, in lots of cities, particularly in one as, as vibrant and as cultural as Norwich. <laughs> What did you guys um, think of this venue in comparison to other places that you guys have played at? So when we walked into the venue, um, we were all really surprised because it was like there was nothing here and it was all like empty. It's really interesting. It's an unusual space. I mean, it was a factory, wasn't it? So yeah, it's a really unusual space, and I liked it. It was really cool. In that, surprisingly, sounded really good. Yeah, this is a really interesting venue. I think. I mean, we, we weren't here earlier, but I imagine in the daytime it's probably got some really nice, like natural light. And stuff. But yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just the the reverb in here is amazing. <laughs> um, so it's like I spent a lot of time trying to like artificially recreate um, reverb like this, and so it was just it was like that layered on top of the artificial. Um, it was just yeah, and it's just light as well. Having light, it felt like you're outside even though you're not. It's, just really nice. it's weird. I kind of like it though. It's like oh, it looks like an old factory. Do you know what I mean? Like. I like the heritage aspect of it, it's like, it's pretty cool. More than that, like, you know, stage is decent, sound is good. Overall decent, yeah. Give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs>